So Lord Shiva is telling the nakshatra pada of your Janma nakshatra is the cause of your birth and then Lord Shiva goes to tell the story of what sin was done. Are you understand? Puja Sharma ji. Asan hai. Main barabar samjha pa raho. Yes sir. Yes sir. Ya ji. Tripura ji. Am I Yes, sir. Sir, very much. Thank you, sir. SP157, what's your name? Rajat, sir. Rajat Bhargavad, no? Rajat Sonakia. Rajat Sonakia, take it. So, so Lord Shiva has entered the cause of birth is the Janma Nakshatra. He just says that. Actually, he says at the start, moon is the cause of past life birth. Okay. The same Karma Vipak Samhita, please understand, four or five versions are available. If you Google, you will get the PDF copy of it in Hindi. One of our volunteers is translating it into English. We, in 15 years back in the magazine, we translated it till nine nakshatras out of the 27. Kian Rao himself has given, has mentioned this book in his books. Now, go to Naumansh. So what he is saying, and when he is talking to Parvati, and in each Nakshatra Pada, he is talking about the sin committed. And Upaya, whatever, you know, sin committed. And for different Nakshatra Pada, he is telling different story. Are you getting it? And he is telling, say for example, Mool Nakshatra, second Pada, person was born in so-and-so city. Next Pada, person was born in so-and-so city. If you post this shloka on social media, without stating it is Lord Shiva, you will say, I am born in Mool Nakshatra, second Baza, but I am not born in Varanasi. So this is wrong shloka. Does it mean, you know, the IIT engineer will say, does it mean everybody is born in Mool Nakshatra, second Baza, okay, has to be born in Varanasi? Or do you mean to say that all the people born in Varanasi city has to be having Mool Nakshatra, second Baza? Are you understanding? And that is where I say intelligence is the biggest criminal, biggest murderer of Shastra. The moment I put it is Karma Vipak Samhita, Lord Shiva, then people will keep quiet. The way you think and the way you react to every situation in life determines whether you will be a great man, whether you will be a success in every area of life. So absolute secret. How you think Jyotish has or any education system has to make you progress in your thinking and applying it in life. So let's come back. What is saying? First, at the start, he's saying it is a past life of a person. So he's giving you a trick about past life astrology. Then he's going for your nakshatra. Lord Shiva is breaking it down into four padas. Correct? 
What are padas? Padas are nothing but the naumansha. Correct? Correct? Now, everybody read this and they forgot. Why? Because suppose you are born Ashini first pada. Everybody in Ashini first pada, there will be millions of people born. Millions and millions of lifetimes will be born. Will they be having the same sin? Correct? So it doesn't work. So we all left it without thinking that Ishwar, God, is writing such a thing. Suppose I tell you, let us simplify it. Let us understand that this is the sin. Chandra shows your sin, your pap. Write this down. Chandra will show the cause of your birth. Right? Step one. Or rule one. Chandra will show the sin that you committed. Observation two. Chandra will show like a the last birth's desire. All Puranas give you this clue. While dying, what is your Icha? The moment of dying, what is your uh, thought? Your soul goes towards it. So in the next birth, your soul, because there is no death. There is no death. Death is only of your vehicle. Correct? So suppose I'm thinking, after this I'm going to have, you know, American nuts chocolate. Oh, sorry, American nuts ice cream. So I'm going to go there only. So that is what I told. Okay, I had a bad bite on my tongue. I can't eat. So I was having Subway sandwich. Started eating it. Huge pain. I forgot that thing happened in the afternoon. I could not, then I could not even open my mouth. So I was wondering whether I'm going to speak today or not. So your thought goes there. So my thought is on that American nuts ice cream, which I'm going to watch Freedom at Midnight. Okay. That more great classic book on our freedom struggle, India's freedom struggle. So I'm going to enjoy it. So my next birth will be there. Got it, everybody? The Naumaj is the division of the ninth house. What is the ninth house? I have given this shloka several times. Satya Jatakam, Faradipika. They say ninth house is past life. And that is the reason we say our husband or our wife okay, is from our previous life. But what we are saying is only Vijay Chauhan. Not Vijay Dinara Chohan. Our husband or our wife is usually the sin of previous life. Are you getting it, everybody? Okay. No. You use this Chandra, seed D1 and D9. Now, instead of seeing this Chandra, seeing what yogas are being formed, seeing what conjunctions are being formed, which house, which sign, combining it, okay, I am saying do reverse engineering. Straight away go to D9. And you see this, test this on charts of known people whom you know 30, 40 years. Okay. Please don't test it on charts of your parents. Okay. Because we only know 50% of the story of the life of our parents. We have no idea about the quality of their marriage life or quality of their financial life. Okay. We don't have full information. Neighbor's life will have more information many times. Okay. So check this that way. You can use this technique on Prashna beautifully. Provided, provided. You tested it on 10 charts. Got it, everybody?
Okay. See this chart. We all require South Indian format also, or North Indian is good for everybody. Daniela? North Indian, please. See this chart. First and foremost, Chandra is heavily afflicted in the Nauman chart. In the Rashi charts, Chandra is so great, aspected by two benefics and two malefics in the 12th house. So, positives and negatives both. Okay. In now March, the Chandra has so many planets with it. Surya is there. First and foremost, Father is there. Surya is there. Okay. Ketu is there. Mercury is there. Mercury, note Mercury, what all it signifies. Saturn is there. Okay. The dispositor of it. Is Ketu and Mars. Correct, everybody? So, this dispositor has gone here. This dispositor has gone here. Correct? Seventh house of marriage, ninth house of father in Gemini. In Gemini. Gemini. Mark the words. Okay? I told him from some other method, not this method, okay? From some other method, I told him. In the past life, he is not kept word to a woman. And he did not marry that person. And probably some document problem or something I'm forgetting now. And Father was involved and child was also involved. Okay, I'm forgetting the story now. It was just two weeks back. So you're getting the father, you're getting this, you are getting son over here, Mercury over here, Ketu is the fight and the separation. Okay. This Mercury is seventh lord also, you can say. Now hear me out. He said one of the most fantastic readings I got was a Nadi reading, Augusta Nadi. And he said, just with the thumb this thing, without asking, the complete chart was drawn. Except one planet. And he said, it was a fantastic reading and all that. Whatever. So I said, usually Nadi readings are useless. He said, no, the point is, okay. he said, the Nadi reading said exactly the same thing. His father was a trader. In now much in the ninth house, you saw moon is with sun and mercury. Photographic memory, very important. On purpose, I stopped the screen share. Okay? His father was a trader. And he was running the business. And he was traveling to different places. In that, he met a woman. Seventh Lord was in the ninth house with Chandra in the no March, correct? Mercury. The woman fell in love. He comes back to the father and says, I want to marry. The woman was at a lower caste. Now I remember. I said to him, okay, the woman was of a lower caste. Yeah. How in the no March you will see? Rahu Ketu is coming and Shani is coming. I'll share it again. Man, I just saw this at this time. Shani is coming. So Shani, Shudra, Rahu is Chandal or Mlecha, etc. Got it, everybody? And he said, the Augusta Nadi reading said, the father said, Either you'll get all my business, property, etc. Okay. Or you will not. Or you go after that girl. 
So he chose his father. So the promise he had given to the girl, Mercury involvement, you are getting it? Mercury Ketu involvement. Mercury Ketu combination person will at one stage in his life break a promise. Whatever he said, whatever is communicated. Why Mercury is communication? Ketu is break and separation. Got it, everybody? Everybody with me? And as a result, that woman committed suicide and she was pregnant. Are you understanding? In this life, there is the dispositor, just the dispositor of Chandra. That's the technique and the story involving it. So we know what I predicted. We know how it got corroborated with Agastya Nadi. Okay, and this. And the reason I'm hiding is because he's a student from our beginner's course. Okay, I'm hiding the birth details. So the dispositor, one here, marriage, other here, this thing. His problem in life is he has so much of property, everybody is trying to steal it. They killed his father because of property. Now again, they are trying to, they tried killing him. Now stealing that property. Are you understanding how that Mars has come into effect? The dispositor. Got it, everybody? The other thing is Ketu. Other dispositor, Ketu, coming 9th house of father. Okay? And in Gemini, the promise, Shudra or Lecha being involved or lower caste, whatever you want to call it. You're getting it? Everybody? Okay? All this is aspecting Jupiter. This Ketu is aspecting, Shani is aspecting here, Jupiter Ketu going behind. Jupiter is again the dispositor of this sign. Okay. And you can see the whole drama is actually only in these two houses, three and nine. Three and nine. And the third lord is coming here with Jupiter. Fourth house, property, this, that, etc. Are you getting everything? If we just look at it once again as a summary, where is Chandra? Chandra is here. It is in a Martian sign. It is in ninth house of father. It is with seventh lord woman. Done. I take the dispositor. Again father connection. Again woman connection. And again the money connection. Please write this down. Nobody knows this. All the harsh sins that you have done that has resulted in somebody's dying, suffering and dying, or somebody dying, is stored with Mars. Both body work. Can you explain this? Yes, sir. This, uh, this thing, sir. Yeah, I can't actually explain it okay. properly. No, that is a reason for it. Okay? Because people will get scared. Just look at it this way. Mars is Lagna Lord and Eight Lord in the Naisargi book. So, whatever sins you've done with inheritance, whatever sins you've done, I, me, myself, I want to be famous, I want to be the ruler, I want to be the army general, I want to be this... And you push other people down. Whatever sins you've done for your anger, rash decisions, etc. Common sense, it will remain with Mars only. Correct? Yes, sir. Things that led for people to suicide. Things that led for people to die out of famine. Losing their property, etc. And all that. So, that has resulted in previous life. He didn't keep the word. The girl committed suicide and they, she was pregnant. This is what Agastya Nadi said. Done. This life is all the man. He decides, oh, so and so rock star is having a concert in London. He flies down to London business class. Are you getting it? 
So I call him up and say, Arey, there is so-and-so astrology in Kerala. Let's go and meet. Okay, sir, I'll do all the ticket bookings. We'll go and meet. Are you getting it, everyone? But the problem is the sin committed in previous life. The woman got pregnant, she died, and the child died with them, which is a bigger sin. Why? Father's pressure. Pressure of the father. So you, that is another technique I used. I used a D60 method. Okay. Now I just, I was showing another of a foreigner. I don't know, it just flashed me to show this chart. And then it opened, it was taking time to open, I had to change the name and all that. From the Nomash method you are getting it. Now we will take a Prashna chart. So I have told you my habit, whenever I meet a person for the first time, I cast the Prashna and I keep it and I save it as first class. Okay. Now this is the Prashna. I don't bother to look at it till some time goes back. This is a Prashna of a foreigner. Where is Chandra in the fifth house? Correct? In Namaj. What is your method? Look at Chandra in the Namaj. Use past life astrology of Karma Vipak something. Done, everybody. Chandra is in the fifth house. It is in Pisces. Pisces means foreign. Spirituality. Correct? It is in Mercury. Mercury means communication, traveling, books. Okay? Fifth house of authorship. Done? Okay? Who is aspecting it? Sun. Tenth lord of career. Done? Okay? Is any other planet aspecting it? No. <clears throat> Where is the dispositor of Mercury going? Third house of traveling, third house of writing, third house of books. Okay. Jupiter means meeting. Jupiter is temples. Jupiter is astrologers. Jupiter is meeting with one people, knowledgeable people, religious people. Correct? Mars and Rahu is aspecting this. Jupiter is debilitated and retrograde. Don't forget that. Mars with Rahu is aspecting. Mars is in Okay. All this, remember, it is a ninth lord of higher knowledge. So what is the business of this person? The business of this person is to take people from abroad, come down to India, visit a lot of temples, rare temples in India, visit astrologers in India, and she takes these astrologers, rare yogis, temples, etc., creates books out of it. The astrologers' books, she gets it translated. Remember, see Mars, Mercury, travel, fifth house of books, authorship. She publishes it in her language abroad. Got it? Done, everybody? Everybody with me? Where is this moon going and sitting? Seventh house of business. Who is the dispositor of moon? Okay. Jupiter is here. Mercury was here. Mercury is in tenth house of business. Sorry, career. Getting it? It is its son, fifth house of authorship. She catches authors, several authors. She is made popular abroad. Everybody with me? And who is the dispositor of thing? Jupiter. This Jupiter is coming here exalted but retrograde and it is the ninth lord of temples and authors. Okay. Are you getting it, everybody? The same Jupiter is twelfth lord of foreign. Ketu, spirituality. So only when we know the story, we can see this technique working beautifully. And it gives us a clue that what Lord Shiva said, that moon, now man's position, is the clue of what is there in the past life. 
In this process, what is the sin? She has published books but not given the money. Are you getting it? A lot of sins always happens in business. My mentor is to say something. The very basis of business is cheating. I said, why? You're buying something at some price and selling something at the other price without a fixed profit margin. If you have guts, you tell the person who's buying your stuff that my profit margin is 25%. Is it okay with you or not? But what do we do? We are fooling the other person. We buy something at 100 rupees, sell it at 500 rupees. Sell it at 1000 rupees. So we are actually involving cheating. The art of illusion in business. Show me a businessman. Every businessman goes to temples. Every businessman recites mantras, stotra, everything. Correct? Show me in the history of humanity a businessman who has an ad right in front of his shop or business. Okay. I only earn 50% profit. 25% profit. 15% profit. So, you know, honesty is not there. In spite of doing everything, that honesty is not there. Are you understanding? Both fundamental things I discuss, very fundamental things of life. Is this two charts okay, or shall I take one more chart? If you want, I can take one more chart. Okay, sir. The problem is this no much, even Kane Rao is not clear. Okay. This is a chart of Mahatma Gandhi. Okay. Let's assume this no much is correct. <clears throat> Chandra in the no much <coughs> is in the third house. Aspected nicely from Rahu, who is sitting in Scorpio of inheritance and transformation. Done, everybody? Saturn is aspecting it. Done, everybody? A Swagrahi Saturn. So a grey Saturn of a Kendra. If we assume the Nomanch is correct. The dispositor has gone in the 12th house of past life pending karma. Things which are incomplete. In the 12th house of foreign. Okay. Aspected by sun government. Sun six ties fight with government. Are you getting some clues? Only when we know the story. Remember, there are two ways to learn a technique. A, when where it is very simple. And B, where you keep on practicing it so much that it becomes simple. Or to understand, very important, or to understand how a yoga or a graha is behaving. <coughs> are you getting it? Everything in life is not practical or business of this thing. Some techniques lead us to a higher understanding of astrology. And that in turn leads us to a practical application of a technique. Got it everybody? It's both important. Both important. Let us go to this Chandra superimposed in the Rashi chart. 10th house, this Chandra is in 10th house of karma, involving Rahu, foreigners, involving Karka, something to do with homeland. Got it? Easy. Then Jupiter was involved here in Nomash. So it comes here. Okay. 
in the seventh house of pada prapti, social status, public platform, and something wise. And who is this Jupiter, third lord of efforts and sixth lord of fighting? Done. This Jupiter was aspected by sun. Who is this sun? In Rashi chart, it is sitting in the twelfth house of foreign. In Virgo, fight. Foreign government, fight with foreign government. Are you getting the clues? Same methodology we have used in three charts. Done, everybody. Any questions before we go to the next technique, which is again of Chandra only? No questions. No, sir, we need to practice it, I think. For five minutes. Just look at the Chandra in your Naumanch of yourself, near and dear ones. And let me know if you're getting some clues. Just follow the same pattern. Naumanch, which Rashi Chandra is, who it is with, who it is aspecting, who is aspecting it. Can we do that?